So today we're going to turn our colorful hats and mittens that we made last time into some snowy self-portraits. Remember, a self-portrait is a picture the artist makes of themselves. You're going to begin with your name on the back of a large blue paper. That's going to be our background today. And then you're going to get your hands all ready to do some cutting. Remember, when you use these scissors, your thumb goes in the small hole, your two fingers or three fingers go in the big hole, and your thumb is on top. You're going to cut carefully around your mittens. If it's easier to cut it off onto a smaller piece and then cut around it, you can do that. But you want to carefully cut all the way around both mittens and your hat. When you're finished cutting all of that out, you want to throw away all of that white scrap paper. And next you're going to be choosing a color for your jacket. I have these jackets already cut out. I'm going to choose yellow for this one. And you're also going to choose a piece of paper for your face. Now it's only the bottom half of your face because the hat is going to cover the top part of your head. When you, the next thing you want to do is arrange the pieces all on your paper to make sure you have everything you need. So that face piece goes like a U, smiling up at you, and the hat goes on the top, flat parts meet, and the mittens go right on the ends of the arms. You're gonna be using a glue stick for this, and you want to start with the jacket and put some glue stick on the back, and you can make sure that that straight edge at the bottom lines up with the straight edge of your paper. And you're going to add the face smiling at you. You're going to add the hat so that the flat part of the hat matches up with the flat part of the head. You're going to glue on the mittens, both mittens. Make sure you get glue around the edges and a little in the middle. Then it's always a good idea to flip your whole paper over and give it a good rub on the back. That helps make those pieces stick really well. Now I'm going to use either a Sharpie or some crayons or both to make a face on my person. So think about what color eyes you have. I like to make like football shaped eyes and then a color big circle and a little black dot in the center is called the pupil. You can make a nose any way that you want. You can make a mouth smiling. I like to make a little rosy cheeks because I'm outside playing in the cold. You could add eyebrows or eyelashes to your person. And then you want a little bit of hair peeking out from under your hat. And the last, the second to last step is to add a few details to your jacket. You could make a zipper or buttons or a collar or a scarf or a necklace, decorations on your jacket, really anything that you like. The last step will be to get a piece of white chalk and to add some snow. So white chalk shows up much better than a white crayon on this dark blue paper. So you can make your snow any way you want, falling all around you. And when you're finished, clean up your area. Have fun. <laughs> 